you guys smart. are here. We're going to get to Triggered, the book, in a moment and sure. your relationship. But <laughs> you did something that triggered a lot of people yesterday, including myself, uh, by releasing the name of the whistleblower, uh, the whistleblower whose complaint has now led to impeachment hearings. Um, the whole point of releasing a name is to intimidate someone, to threaten someone, uh, and to scare other people from coming out. That's something that dictators do. I've lived in China. I've seen that firsthand. That's not what America does. That's not who we do. We don't. We stand by our people. Why did you want to release the Listen, name? Abby, I, I think. <laughs> you know, I, I think the reality of the answer is, the whistleblower's name was on a little website called the Drudge Report a couple of days ago. It was in Real, Real Clear Politics. I literally quote tweeted an article that had the guy's name in the title of the article. So that whole thing is Does nonsense. But I, I wish the outrage would be equal. I mean, there was no outrage when, you know, my family got an exploding letter of, you know, with white powder substance in it. You know, they're protecting a guy, you know, in the CIA and there's great <coughs> outrage. But when your family gets something, it's there. And that's a big part of the book, which is, it's not a level playing field in terms of but outrage. He, he, we do he, live in an outrage but, culture. But he has to be anonymous. Your family did not. There's a difference. But, but the, it was it, literally millions of people, and for days he's been out there in the media. But, but you does know, that make so, it right? Not, it, so what's the difference it's between me tweeting about It's different when the president's son does it, though, isn't oh, it? Oh, why? I mean, I'm a, I'm a private citizen putting this out there. If everyone in this room could have read this, <laughs> I don't see any difference yeah. whatsoever. The but reality is, it seems to me, and again, my point of view on this, it seems to me that everyone is outraged that his name is out there because now people are saying, okay, he's tied to Joe Biden while Joe Biden was working in the White House. He has ties to Brennan, who's been leading the cabal on Trump. <laughs> but, it's not, you know, but let, let's not, be that, honest that, about but, what it is. But just to be clear, that's not why I'm outraged. I'm that's outraged right. because I care about diplomacy in this country. I care about how we protect the people when they see a wrongdoing, mm -hmm. that they go through the proper political channels I and they are protected fair. for doing that. So you can say that, that whatever I, I, outlook I, 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 at least let's, is. Let's not kid ourselves. But the name has been out there for five days. But that doesn't make it right. But nevertheless, nevertheless, but, but Abby, you nevertheless, guys, nevertheless, ABC, ABC, is right now right. chasing down a whistleblower about all of the Epstein stuff because those stories were killed. So if we're going to have the conversation about the outrage okay, about can whistleblowers, we do, can we you work with CBS, though. You work with CBS can you, yes, can you, to I'm ask a whistleblower ask, who I'm gonna came up with a story question. that's kind of shady. Can we stick to... No, but you work with stick, them. Can we, stick, it's, it's, it, that broke can the we stick to... What she the asked him the question, just because if we start getting off on the no, 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 but my that's point is I'm one saying. of hypocrisy, and, and again, a big mm -hmm. part of why I wrote the book is because there's so much hypocrisy out there. Now I understand that the mainstream media is left leaning. I don't think anyone's ever debated that or doubted that for a long time. Mm -hmm. But they've gotten rid of the pretense of objectivity at this point. There is no. They're like, you but know what? We're you, just going to be the marketing wing talk, of the other just side. Just let me. Inter if you talk about hypocrisy, if you talk about hypocrisy. Mm -hmm. You seem fine with people leaking information if it makes you and your father look good because WikiLeaks well, this has been and going Julian on for Assange the other side for, is forever. a cyber terrorist, right? And, and I think a Russian puppet. You are fine promoting his stuff and your dad praising him on the campaign trail if it makes you look good. So how is this whistleblower who went through the right channels, how are you now releasing his name and putting his life in danger, but WikiLeaks was doing the right thing? If I can, just for us, thank you so much. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> thank yeah. you for the opportunity. So here's the thing. There's a, there's a lot of context, too, and I hear what you're saying. It's a fair enough question because he may be a private citizen, but nevertheless, he is the uh, you know son of the president of and the United and States. And a campaign surrogate. And he's somebody who works as a campaign surrogate, but not officially you know with the campaign. Mm -hmm. But nevertheless, when you look at this facts and you look at the circumstance, you look at, in fact, even on this show, the first day after the election, they said, and now let's start with impeachment. This has been something that's been going, it's been a concerted effort by a lot of people who are disappointed by the results of the election to undo it and remove a duly elected president of the United States, number one. Number two, when you look, well, it was on oh, this show on November 9th. No, actually, it, it wasn't. We've been, we've been, we've been, we've been, we've been, we've had all kinds of, wait, man, I see, I look Listened. Now I got. I'm, I'm asking Fair for enough. the same. Fair. We are an opinion show. Correct. That's what we do. Correct. What you seem to have done and feels very disingenuous because <coughs> you can't say I'm a private citizen and yet you're in the middle of all of this. You were you brought to the FBI folks. Everybody talked to you. You know you're part of this. So when you release 
a name like that, even if it was out for 10 days or 20 days, you have to know that people, if you were talking about the white powder that your family got, this guy's family's getting the same thing. And why is it okay for one and not both? I, I, well, Either we, don't, we shouldn't we don't, be we doing it. We don't know that that's actually happening to him, you know, first and foremost. Well, we don't know that, that it happened to but, you. But, but, but we're taking it, your it, name. Yeah. We're taking yeah. your... Stop yelling! Stop yelling! Yeah, yeah, not to yell. I, I can hear you. It's like a miracle here for but Christmas. Kim, Kim, Kimberly, <laughs> you're a lawyer. Yes. And, and we we've known yeah. each other. You were a former prosecutor. Yeah. I mean, did you advise um, your boyfriend that it? Is a federal crime to out a, a whistleblower? I didn't advise him that it was a federal crime, but I did come out of the bathroom and say, I left you alone for 10 minutes. What happened when Mama sees this gun? Because yeah. by the well, prison, it's not a federal crime. It's only a federal However, crime for the IG to do it. That's yeah. in the statute. Well, well, so that's, you well, can't, no, that's but not that's true. the point. You can't that's run a lie. with it. It is not true. Let me show you the other not side. Not true. Under, under, under US this. Okay, this. stop. Everybody stop. It's, it's hard to hear. Yeah. Under US Code Section 1505, it is a crime. It's not accurate. Just ask Greg Paul. He went my law degree says it is, but nevertheless, but he's uh, not my, the individual that first. But my, my, my question is, yeah. you did speak to him about that. I talked to him. No, not prior to. After I said, oh, what happened? He said, well, they're saying that I released this and I outed. But if you look at the facts, and the mm -hmm. facts are that the name was out there. I'm not saying, okay, I understand what you're saying. That perhaps, okay, it wasn't the most prudent decision to <laughs> retweet an article. But I'm going to tell you something. We talk about transparency. The president of the United States release the transcript of exactly what happened in that phone call. Yeah. The whistleblower is giving well, his opinion or her opinion right. of what transpired. I'd like to talk about that. You get what actually. I'm saying? Yeah. I'd like so to talk about that. That's out there to say. He's not trying to hide anything. I'd, I'd, thank God he transcribed I'd, I'd like to talk about that. Actually, let's, let's let me ask you, did you, do you if regret so transparent, transparent, why does he you know, I, I don't think I should have to forego my First Amendment rights. I didn't want to create hysteria, but if I'm reading an article, be like, oh, the name's out there. I didn't even realize that this thing's some sort of big sort of secret. You don't regret doing that. I don't regret doing it. No, I don't think I should have to forego my First Amendment rights. Writes. It's out there. I read it in an article. I've been reading it for a week. I saw it on the Drudge Report. Like, this is not some secret, but to then say, because it's Donald Trump Jr., because he's an outspoken guy, a mega to then rally, create, okay? made, why was there no outrage when Drudge Report, <laughs> okay. which is a major website, Calm probably down. the largest aggregator of media news mm -hmm. in America, he puts it out there a few days ago, and no, crickets, no, no problem with that. Because on, probably not a lot of people knew that it was out there. But once you put it it's out, on see, well, but here's millions the, of people see yes, Drudge Day. I'm saying to you, listen, man, I don't know how many people yeah. here uh, read the Drudge Report. I don't know, but I'm saying um, all those a lot more people know your name. Yeah. Then know the judge but report. You're assuming. I know it's a fair point. Well, I, 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 I like let, let, Let's move on. I understand. Um, um, I, I want to talk about the, the, the memo of the call because I, I don't believe it's ah. a transcript. Um, in the memo of the call that was released from the White House between your father and the, the Ukraine president, your father said, uh, I would like you to do us a favor, though, because our country has been through a lot and Ukraine knows a lot about it. And we have the entire. Uh, Part, part of the memo here. The other thing, there's a lot of talk about Biden's son, that Biden stopped the prosecution, and a lot of people want to find out about that. So whatever you can do with the attorney general would be great. This is the basis of the impeachment in inquiry. Why is that a sham? The whole Which is thing, what you're no, calling First of all, it. because nothing was withheld. The, the other guy on the other side actually said, I have no idea what you're talking about. No one knew any aid was mean, even being was withheld. withheld. The, the other guy in the Ukraine, the, in terms of aid being withheld. So no one knew about these things. But that's things. not true. And that's a lie. Military aid was withheld. Yeah. Okay. Yes. No one knew not about it in the, the Ukraine. So the there, there, and quo. there was no quid pro quo. You see all the it other aspects of that's this That's a lie. Out. It was withheld. There's yeah. been no prima facie case Wait, so made whatsoever for impeachment. The transcript is there. The witnesses are coming forward. There was no so you have a lot of opinion to go But Kimberly, the military aid was withheld. But not because of that reason. And again, the other side didn't even know that it was withheld. has been clearly But that's a lie. There have been several ambassadors that have testified. Did Gordon Sondland lie then when he changed his Wait. testimony yesterday? Well, I don't know why he changed his testimony. It's sort of interesting. It almost, you know, he says something. He's afraid of perjury. He's afraid and, and, of going to jail. Well, or, or he's afraid of being attacked like so many of us have for so long by a vicious left that's running oh, a one-sided champ thing. Let's go to Adam Schiff is doing a one-sided thing. Children! 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 Stop yourselves!